Have you seen videos about why you should become a data scientist? That the salaries are high, that you can often work from home, and that it's just the best job of the 21st century? Well, that's not the reality for everyone. And today we're going to get straight to the point and talk about if it's actually worth becoming a data scientist, or if it's just too competitive, is it going to be replaced by AI, or is the job perhaps not just as good as people might think? I'm curious about this myself, so I've done a lot of research, which I'm going to present to you in this video. And we're just going to start with a breakdown of the job responsibilities, then we'll talk about more of the salaries, job outlook, and future growth, as well as job satisfaction and how real data scientists feel about their jobs. Finally, we're going to talk about the pros and cons, and I'm not going to hold back at all in this video, I want to share the reality, so drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. First, we're going to start with taking a look at some common job responsibilities and i want to show you the reality so we're just going to head over to indeed the job searching platform and i'm going to show you two jobs and see if you can tell the difference here's our first data scientist job and as you can see the responsibilities listed include analyzing data for patterns implement and improve existing models for data driven products create client ready slides find efficient ways to solve problems learn and share knowledge and be productive so you're saying i cannot take three coffee breaks each hour that was a horrible joke that was really bad let's take a look at another data scientist job and here you'll be responsible for analyzing large data sets the signing of scalable processes to collect manipulate process and analyze large data sets you will also develop working prototypes of statistical machine learning based algorithms and work closely with engineers to deliver code across our platform now can you tell the difference between these two jobs because they are actually very, very different, even though they have the same job title. One is more focusing on data analysis, and one is focusing way more on machine learning. And that is because the data scientist role is very general, and they can do a lot of different things. So make sure to always read the job description when you're applying for a job. Now, let's take a look at the salary of a data scientist. And here on talent.com, the estimated average salary in the US is around 131000 per year, for a data scientist. Now do keep in mind that there's a very wide range of salaries from 105,000 on the low end to 175,000 on the high end and your salary will depend a lot, you know, varying on your region, your expertise and also the company itself, of course. We can see the salaries per state with uh, Washington taking the lead and then we have California and New York coming up in second and third place. And at the bottom of the page we can also see some different salary comparisons with a software engineer making around 126,000 per year and a systems engineer making around 115,000 per year. Now what is going to be the job outlook for a data scientist? Will there be jobs in 10 years and what does the job market actually look like? Well according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics there are currently an estimated 100 68,000 data scientist jobs in the US alone with data from 2022. Over the next 10 years, this number is expected to grow by 35% and I can tell you that this growth is much faster than average. But at the same time, 168,000 jobs are actually not that many in a country of over 300 million people. So we'll continue this discussion a little bit more and talk about the competition and such once we get to the pros and cons section. Perhaps more important than the salary and anything else is the job satisfaction. So let's see if people are actually happy with their positions or if they would do things differently. According to a ranking by US News, they rank data scientists as the fourth best technology job out there. They also rank data scientists at number seven in STEM which means science, technology, engineering, and mathematics jobs. Now, at the same time, the scorecard definitely isn't perfect, and the salary is at a 6.7 out of 10, which I would perhaps even put a little bit higher, but for some reason they decided to give it only a 6.7. The future growth is 9.6, and as we looked at earlier, the growth is actually looking really good. The work-life balance is at a 5, which kind of goes hand in hand with stress at 4.7, and I think it's quite understandable, because while it can be a really exciting job, it's definitely not the easiest thing to leave everything at the office when you clock out and just forget about your data scientist job. Now I skipped one thing on the list because I wanted to discuss it last and that is the job market. In this rating they're actually giving the job market a 3.8 out of 10 and that's not great. But if the future growth is so good and the salary is great and everything then why is the job market so bad? And the simple answer is of course competition because even though the growth is great if we look at the actual number of jobs, well, there are not actually that many data scientist jobs out there. And with data scientists being one of the most popular jobs that everyone desires right now, it's not that surprising that the job market can be very tough. But this is actually a perfect transition to talk about the pros and cons of this career. Now, I have a disclaimer first, because 
These are not my experiences, but what other people think. And I've read a lot of reviews, gone through discussion topics and different forums, and just generally gathered things that people find to be pros and cons of this career. These are really, really important things that you should definitely know before you get started. And if you don't know this, then you might end up going down the wrong path and doing something that's actually a terrible option for you. So we should probably, you know, figure this out as soon as possible. So first, as you can see, the demand is great. And the job market is certainly growing at a pretty fast pace. The salaries are also very competitive, and it's a job that you can do remotely, of course, as long as your company allows it. There are many different career paths and ways to specialize and actually make more money in the process, and it also involves constant learning and following new technologies, which can be really exciting, and perhaps most importantly, you're able to work with data to make an impact. But before we end this video, we need to cover some of the cons. Now, all downsides are not equal for all people, because if I say that a job is very intense, some people are going to absolutely love it, and some people are going to hate it and find it really stressful. So kind of be aware of who you are and what you prefer before taking these downsides in, because they might actually be a positive thing for you. First, we have the constant learning. And modern data science is a pretty new field, and things are changing and evolving all the time. So to stay relevant, you will have to keep learning. It can also be somewhat of a high-pressure environment, because the work that you're doing is very visual, and managers have high expectations of data professionals. Perhaps especially because data is known to be so important right now, that managers actually believe that you're able to do more than you can in your limited amount of time. There's also a stronger technical foundation required for a data science scientist than for example a data analyst and this is also reflected in the pay but just be aware that you're not really going to be able to take a three-month course and then just end up becoming a data scientist suddenly it does require some serious skills and a lot of education and training there's also the discussion of automation and i think a lot of you guys have been waiting for that but i cannot really predict what is going to be automated nor am i some sort of automation expert but it's likely that some of the responsibilities will be automated or at least integrated with ai that's not to say that the job is going to be replaced, but I do think that some tasks are going to be changed. That also brings us to the continual learning, where you have to adapt to new things because the field is ever changing. If you like this video and want more of them, then please drop a like and subscribe, and also check out this video, because if you're interested in data science, it is one of the most popular videos on my channel, and I think you'll find it really, really helpful. Thanks for watching.